here. You ready to go? Yeah. Hey, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. And this is Megan with Believe in the Run. Meg, what do we got? Today we have the New Balance Propel V4. All right, before we get into any of the details, one of the most impressive details about this shoe is the price point. We are talking $110. Yeah, that's pretty good today's day. Yeah, today's and day. this shoe is available now, which is incredible. Yeah. So not only is it at a budget price, it's also available right now. And let's talk about some of the features and I don't want to do a full review, but we'll give our first impressions of the shoe. Yeah, so I actually already have over 20 miles in the shoe the past couple days. Yay, marathon training. <laughs> um, and honestly, I didn't have high expectations because I always felt like the shoe was a little firm. And then when I found out they added a TPU plate, I was like, it's going to be way too firm. But they clearly revamped this whole thing. There's a new foam in here. This feels bouncy and pretty good. Yeah, the new foam she's talking about is the same foam that's in the SC Trainer, the big bad daddy of daily trainers this past year. So, yeah, you got you got a guy coming through, and um, the foam is, I, I think it's pretty, it's tuned pretty well. It's not too soft. This rubber doesn't help it from getting too soft. You got the TPU plate you were talking about. It just kind of has a nice, kind of a firm but giving feel to it wouldn't you say yeah I would agree and then the upper it's pretty straightforward here I did have a little bit of heel slippage back here I, Thomas didn't seem to have that I so do maybe. have a little bit it's not okay. it's not bothering me and if I did have it like you're talking about I would just do the lace lockdown but I refuse to do that because France just fixed the problem we don't need to do the secret the problem lacing. is fixed <laughs> it's got a lacing thing right here okay so anyway first thoughts this one's shockingly pretty great yeah, it's a good shoe. I like that there's enough underneath the forefoot that it feels like the balls of my feet are protected as I'm landing there. It's got a nice feel to it. Plenty of rubber. So not only being at a price point where you expect to maybe have it feel a little cheap, the upper doesn't feel too cheap. Nope. The foam doesn't feel cheap. And you got plenty of rubber on the bottom. This shoe's going to last. This is like a really good deal for runners. Yeah, and one last note on this is that because of this plate and this slightly firmer foam, I feel like you can pretty much do everything with this. So you can do your daily training and maybe even do some speed work or some faster stuff. Yeah, my run in it, you know, I don't know if I'd say it's a do it all shoe. I still would like a little more bounce and pop off the toe, but the new, the, the, they actually used a new last in this shoe and it has a different rocker uh, toe off. It does feel smooth through the stride. And then, Megan, you'll show what it's like when you go long and catch it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> 